And right now we go live to the tarmac of Joint Base Andrews in Maryland. A truly historic moment. We are waiting for the jet carrying four U.S. residents. They are now just minutes away from stepping onto U.S. soil after a massive prisoner exchange with Russia involving seven nations and 24 people, their families, uh, the president, the vice president are standing by. Uh, Jeff, Russia, the U.S., several countries, they agreed to this 24 prisoner exchange. It is the largest prisoner swap since the Cold War, a truly historic moment. And yes, we are just waiting for that jet. Uh, Wall Street journalist, Wall Street Journal journalist Evan Gershkovich, former U.S. Marine, spent 16 years in Russian prisons on espionage charges. Paul Whelan expected to be on that jet again moments from landing right now. Yeah, Didi, and let's talk about some of the time that they spent over there in Russia as well. So you mentioned Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gershkovich. He was detained in March of last year, spent 491 days over there in Russia. You also had Alsu Kermasheva. She was detained a little bit later than, uh, than Evan was there in June of 2023. So she spent a little over a year over there. But then, as you had mentioned, 16 years, Paul Whelan, 2,043 days spending time over there in Russia. And as we had just saw, that live look on the tarmac is we're taking a live look right here. Again, we're waiting for that jet to touch down. We also have learned tonight that President Biden, Vice President Kamala Harris are already there on the tarmac. They are waiting. We have also learned that several Wall Street Journal colleagues of Evan Gershkovich are also there as well. Some covering the event, of course, as you can imagine, but then also others just waiting to embrace their colleague who has been detained again, as we had mentioned, 491 days, Didi, Abs over there in Russia. Absolutely. And this is an incredible diplomatic uh, achievement. Less than six months before Biden leaves the office, it's being touted as a truly uh, defining moment. As we mentioned earlier, the largest prisoner swap uh, since the Cold War. And I think this really highlights the, the multinational deal, the element that uh, set into motion these two dozen people uh, being free, three U.S. citizens since one U.S. green call card holder. We have been watching, as you mentioned, Evan Gershkovich had been detained for more than a year, Paul Whelan, uh, for six years. And uh, just so much momentum, uh, these families standing by and just waiting and, and, and hoping to embrace their loved ones. After this, they're headed to San Antonio. They're going to a medical facility and, of course, going to do a medical evaluations. But I think, Jeff, right now, everyone is holding their breath and just really uh, waiting for that moment to to see their loved ones who they have been fighting so long to see. Yeah, that's right. And several family members as well also going to be, uh, you know, showing up there as well. Pretty much the entire Gershkovich family. You also have uh, Kishmagaz. Uh, her family is going to be there as well. Paul Whelan's family going to be there. We are taking a live look right here at the tarmac as we've been bringing you this live coverage here from Prince George's County in Maryland. Those four freed Americans that have been detained in Russia, some for up to 16 years, Paul Whelan, expected to touch, touch down, right? And there it is. That jet touching down right there in Prince George's County for the first time and hopefully right here in a few moments we are about to see or we are about to see in a few moments those four Americans step foot onto U.S. Yes. soil for the first time. Absolutely. And President Biden, we know, is there. Vice President Kamala Harris is there as well as the families. You are witnessing history right there. Joint Base Andrews, the tarmac, the plane that you are watching carrying the freed Americans back to U.S. land. And let's take a moment and watch. Again, there are families that you are seeing huddled in front. Trying to get right up to that jet, Dee, as close as they can get. And again, the three returning to the U.S. is a part of this 24-person prisoner swap. This is one of the largest since the end of the Cold War. Among the U.S., Russia, Germany, there were several other countries involved, seven countries involved. And if you're taking a look at this screen right now, wondering where they're going to come out of that plane, pay attention to the left-hand portion of your screen. You can see the airplane door. So it's clearly closed right now. Everybody on board, as you can imagine, anxious to get off. Everybody there at the tarmac, anxious to see everyone get off. But it is that left-hand portion of your screen where that airplane door is, where everybody's going to be exiting that plane. 
Absolutely, and we are, as we mentioned, we are waiting uh, for families uh, to embrace their loved ones any moment now. About a dozen Wall Street Journal employees, as you mentioned, they are gathered there on their tarmac. Of course, this is one of their employees that they have been waiting for. And as we pan to the left, we are seeing uh, some of those people that we just mentioned huddled right there. And it looks like we are seeing some of, we see the president, as you can see, watching or waiting their way, walking over to the plane. Imagine some families in the distance there. Uh, to the right of your screen, not picture, that is the jet that has just landed. That includes these, these now freed Americans. President approaching that jet, DD. Of course, everybody there, everybody at home watching as well, pretty much the entire country anxiously awaiting here as President Biden approaches that jet right there. The four freed Americans in just moments going to touch ground on U.S. soil for the first time. Again, Paul Whelan, 16 years, Evan Gershkovich, and there the doors are coming down right now, and let's watch them come out. Again, this is this is years in the making that we are witnessing here. So as you can imagine, uh, a lot of emotions right now, uh, a very, uh, very dramatic and a historic moment, uh, not just a diplomatic achievement, but but really a, a personal one. And as we zoom in there, looks like Paul, Paul Wheeling, Wheeling coming we out. See, uh, shaking the president's hand you can see some some cheers in the background there uh very calm demeanor jeff mm -hmm. as you can see i mean as you obviously uh former a big marine smile absolutely after this uh paul Two. wheel and that former u.s marine spending 16 years in russia 2043 days meeting right there with vice president kamala harris as well shaking her hand didi hit 2000 the longest Detainee over there in Russia, 16 years, over 2,000 days, finally touching down on U.S. soil. Right, and we uh, expect, believe his family is there right now. His sister, Elizabeth Whelan, we believe, is, is there. So we imagine he will uh, be able to embrace her very shortly. Hugging the president there. And the vice president. A, a truly a, a defining moment right now at, at Andrews Air Force Base. If you are, if you are just joining us, uh, the plane has just touched down. <laughs> Paul Whelan, former U.S. Marine, standing by, and there you have it. Evan former, or y y exactly, Wall Street journalist Evan Gershkovich. Wrongfully detained in Russia, spent over a year uh, in Russian prisons, hugging and and shaking the hands of the president of the United States right now. And you imagine everything that they've been through right now, and, and that calm, that sense of calm. But you see that smile, too, from Evan, Didi. We had seen the that in the relief. photos that were posted earlier today all over social media. Evan coming down those stairs, and we saw it. He turned his uh, left cheek to the camera really, really slightly there. But you can see that smile still coming out. And as we mentioned, in addition to uh, Paul Willen's sister, Evan Gershkovich's father uh, there, his mother, his sister, brother-in-law, the entire family. Oh, and just look at that moment. Just the, the relief and the excitement. And again, if you are just joining us, we are watching a historic moment at the Joint Base Andrews in Maryland. Uh, the plane carrying freed Americans back to U.S. land has, as you can see, just touched down. The president there, the vice president there, uh, families of 
these Americans that are now freed have landed in the U.S. after years of being in Russian prisons. Um, as we just saw, a former U.S. Marine, an American journalist, they are all there. They are waiting and they are <laughs> running to see their family members for the very first time. We have obviously seen relief. We've seen smiles. We've seen emotions. Probably a lot but of tears there as well, Didi, that we're just not seeing just yet, hidden by the smiles. Undoubtedly, I mean, as you can imagine there, but just everybody still huddled together as everybody comes off of that jet. And we do see the president with Paul Whelan and huddled there with the uh, vice president, Evan Gershkovich, talking as well. We are going to continue our coverage online at thenationaldesk.com. You are witnessing a historic moment. We will continue our coverage. But for now, that is going to do it for us tonight for this edition of The National Desk. Again, the conversation picks up online and on air tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. Eastern. Before we go, one last look at America's news and weather now where you live. Good night.